Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Thursday prayer and devotional time. I'm continuing in the book of Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 18, verses 3 and 5, and I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. And this is God speaking to Moses, and this is what he says in Leviticus chapter 18, verses 3 through 5. And if you have your Bibles, read along with me. You shall not do as they do in the land of Egypt, where you live. And you shall not do as they do in the land of Cana, to which I am bringing you. You shall not follow their statutes. My ordinances you shall observe, and my statutes you shall keep following them. And then, I am the Lord your God. Verse 5. You shall keep my statutes and my ordinances. By doing so, one shall live. I am the Lord. In the wilderness, the Israelites were basically shielded and isolated from many temptations. They didn't have other people around them. They were, they were just moving off into this desolate area. And God, in many ways, was protecting them from was about what, what was about to come. God knew that the Israelites would face a series of new challenges when they entered that new promised land. With other people, the Canaanites being around them, God knew that there was going to be tests and challenges for them, and he warned them not to live like the people living in that land, no matter how tempting that might seem. They would remember that he had given his people different standards that were to shape and govern their lives. In other words, that if you're going into this new land of Cana, they may have different standards to live by, but follow the standards that I have given you, and you're going to be okay. He also gave them the key to success, and that success is this, that if you keep my statutes, if you keep my ordinances, you're going to be okay. And this meant that they had to know his word. And how many times have I stressed that we have to know God's holy word? We have to study it. We have to uh, pray about it. We have to read God's holy word. You can't just take my, what I'm telling you, I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I, 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 I surely am. But you just can't take someone's word just thinking that they are telling you the truth. You have to study God's word yourself. What's interesting is that the Israelites could not be conformed to the world. But they had to live by what God was asking them to live by. And again, that was his word. God even promised that whoever lived his way, following his words, his ordinances and his statutes, they would find life. And finding life is a guarantee for all who obey God and his words. You know, if you think about it, these same principles that God is telling the Israelites thousands of years ago are the same challenges and, and principles God's telling us today in 2021. In our culture, we, we can find it easy to copy people around us and adopt their values and their ethics and morality. But just as he did for the Israelite, God warns us not to allow their way of life to govern us. You take a look around our society today. You take a look at around our culture today. Not only in the United States, but around the world. The world is living a different life than Christianity. And Stanley Horowitz and William Willimon wrote a book many years ago called Resident Aliens. And you know something? We, we as Christians are living like aliens in a whole different culture. Because our way of living is different from the way the world is living. We must know God's way and we must follow God's way. And only then will we have peace. So we have to be alert in life from temptations and traps. Not to be conformed in the world and let this world govern our lives. We have to renew our dedication to God and God's kingdom. We have to fill our minds with God's holy word and scriptures. And we must base our life on his word. Before we go into our prayer time, I would ask that you would pray for the following individuals. And we have a list of, uh, of, of people that we need to be praying for today. For uh, Fred uh, Roach, and that's a friend of Cheryl Zanotto struggling with chemo and radiation. 
for Gary Rosenberger. Again, Cheryl Zanotto's uh, son's father-in-law diagnosed with uh, metastas met metastatic cancer. In other words, it's metastasizing, it's spreading. For Dick Bush, who had surgery yesterday, uh, the surgery seemed to be okay, but they're, they're still waiting to make sure that if it's, uh, um, if the bypass is working or not. So please pray for Dak, uh, for Dick and, and Pat Bush. For Randy Ames, that Cindy Weaver's brother passed away on May 14th, and we extend Christian sympathies to the Ames family and also to the Weaver family. For Mary Lee, that that's Pat Wolfgang's sister in North Carolina, had back surgery, it went well, but still struggling with pain. For Ronna Ryman, Neuro, 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 neurological issues. I'm sorry. Uh, been um, has been uh, testing and she's been falling at home. So hopefully from the neurological testing, they'll find out what's going on with Rana and be able to treat it. For Susan from Via Funeral Home, she was the office manager. Passed away last Friday. We extend Christian sympathies to Susan and her family. To Dave Carroll, still uh, determining if he will begin chemo or not. And also for Dan Bazella, and I was able to spend some time with Dan and, and Margie today, continuing to recover from low sodium levels. So we have a lot of people that need, we need to be praying for. And also we want to uplift Lee Graw. She was in a car accident and has broken her sternum and has several fractured ribs, and she's home recovering as well. Uh, Pam Osterweiss, that's Sandy Neely's mother, uh, back at William Ken Care, Facil uh, Care Facility. She just came from UPMC East. And also we uplift the Shirley McClellan family uh, with the death of Shirley, who passed away May 9th. We also uplift Della, that's Barb Hilty's aunt in prayer, and also uh, Doris, that Bob, Barb Hilty's aunt, had, or mother, that, I'm sorry, Barb Hilty's mother had a baker cyst behind her knee and was drained, and she's actually feeling a lot better. Again, a lot of prayers that we need to be praying for. And I continue to pray for each and every one of you, and I know you're praying for Sarah and myself, and we can feel your prayers, and I know you can feel our prayers as well. Will you join me in prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, as we contemplate your word and as we study your word, we just ask that the temptations of life and the temptations that are all around us, that you give us the strength and the will that comes from you to be able to stand anything that life has to give us. And we pray, Father, that with all the, the uncertainty with COVID continuing to swarm around us, and all the uncertainty with Israel and, and Palestine, that, that's what a mess in the Middle East that is. We, we pray for peace throughout the world. And we also pray for peace with the, within each and every one of us that you touch us and bless us. And, and we just pray for the United States of America, from our president to our Congress, to our Supreme Court, to our great state of Pennsylvania and our governor, and to our local municipalities as well. And for the, for the community of Delmont and our mayor, we pray. We pray, Father, that you touch each and every one of us who, who would be listening to, this, uh, to this, this podcast, I will, and, and, and just bless us and, and draw us close together. And all those who were mentioned here this afternoon, all the names that we have called out, touch them and bless them and heal them. And Father God, thank you for our Bible study that, you, that, uh, that we were able to continue and, and bless us with each Monday evening. Father, as we head into Memorial Day, keep us safe. And with those of us who are gathering with family and friends, may we find joy and happiness and truly appreciate our family. And bless Faith United Methodist Church in our ministry, Father. We ask all these blessings in the name of Jesus who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I'll see you all Sunday. God bless you.